813 now dermatologists worldwide are gathering information on what be an what may be an overlooked symptom of the coronavirus skin rashes. There's more research needed, but preliminary studies are showing the virus can affect skin. Dermatologist Dr. Patricia Ferris is joining us now to talk about these skin conditions. Dr. Ferris, it's great to see you. You too. Yeah, and coronavirus, of course, has symptoms that we've heard about over and over, fever and cough, but more and more we're hearing people report skin conditions that they think are linked to the virus. There are a few skin conditions that we're starting to see in COVID patients. I want to first say that skin rash is not one of the main symptoms of COVID, so this is in a minority of patients. But we do see some skin rashes, and the American Academy of Dermatology is collecting cases and data, so we're trying to learn more about this. We're still in our infancy. This is one rash. This is sort of like hives or kind of a splotchy redness. We would call this a maculopapular rash. These rashes can be seen with lots of different viruses, but they are being reported in patients with COVID. Now, you usually don't present with a rash with COVID. Those maculopapular rashes will occur once the patient has fever and cough and the upper respiratory symptoms of COVID. I have some other pictures, if we could show those. Um, this is something that is important. This is what we're now calling COVID toes. This is something that seems to be unique to younger patients, teenagers, 20 and 30 year olds who get COVID. It's very interesting because as dermatologists, if we looked at this, this is the type of rash we would see in a patient who might've been outdoors, exposed to cold. We would call this a chillbane like rash. We don't understand why COVID patients are getting these, what we would call chillbane like rashes. But when patients come in who are in their teens or 20s and they have this, we would have them get tested for COVID. The good news about this toe rash or COVID toe is usually those patients have a very mild case of COVID. They may have just a couple of days of symptoms, but this is associated with a milder case of COVID. But something important to know about COVID toes. Yeah, and so if you are experiencing one of these, you've already tested positive for the virus, how should you be treating it? Well, really, there is not treatment for viral rashes in general. We more than likely will use these as additional features to help with the diagnosis. But we are not in the dermatology office seeing a number of patients coming in with rashes that are leading us to the COVID diagnosis. So generally, as I said, symptoms start first, whether it's fever, cough, some of the more common COVID symptoms, the rashes come on somewhat later. This is another interesting rash. We call this Livido, and we actually will see Livido rashes sometimes in patients with COVID. This is an uncommon sort of appearance, but you can see it looks almost like lace. It's kind of a reddish, lacy look. And this is another rash that has been reported in COVID patients. This is the more common rash, the maculopapular rash that we mentioned earlier. This is again seen in many viral syndromes. This can be somewhat itchy, but again, this will come on after the patient is ill. Sure, and so as far as you know right now, if you have tested positive for coronavirus and you have a regular skin regimen, is there anything you should take out of it or can you use all of your regular products? Well, most of the times when patients get a, a viral rash, it will be somewhat itchy. So we may have that patient put some hydrocortisone on or a prescription cortisone cream. So there are a number of things that you can do to make the rash part of it feel better. There's nothing you need to avoid specifically if you get a viral rash. In other words, your facial regimen or the like you could certainly use. Yeah, and the thing is, as you pointed out, there's still a lot we don't know about this connection, about the virus in general, but about this connection between the virus and your skin. Exactly, and, and like I said earlier, many viruses have skin manifestations. So this is not something new to the dermatologist. This virus is so no, new, however, that we're trying to gather data as a specialty to understand our role in treating patients and maybe diagnosing patients with COVID. All right, some very helpful information. Dr. Ferris, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.